Hello, Mississauga. I'm Chris Kukoc, and this is your Mississauga Market Update for March 2018. So today we're going to talk about three things. One, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what's going on in the Toronto real estate board right now. Two, we're going to dive into the specific micro markets in Mississauga. That's the detached, the semis, the townhouses, and the condos. And number three, I'm going to go into what it all means for you. Now I know you've been seeing some scary headlines in the media the last little while, and the most recent one was GTA real estate market down 35%. So I'm gonna go ahead and address that first. Let's take a look at the chart and see if we can see what's really going on. February of this year, we had 5,175 sales, which that number is down 35%. You have to keep in mind that February of last year was by far the craziest February we've ever had. If you look at the months of inventory at 0.7, it really makes sense why everything went so crazy. This year we have a much healthier 2.6. Average sale price on the board this month was 768000 which is down 12% over last year. But if you go back even two years over February of 2016, it's actually up 12%. Let's take a look at the micro markets now. In the detached market in Mississauga, the average price in February was $1.09 million, which is down 10.8%. Now in the semi-detached, the price was 690000 which is down 10.1%. Townhouse market in Mississauga, average price in February was 575000 which is down 4.2%. And the average price of a condo in Mississauga was 411000 which was up 13.7%. Now as is often the case, the months of inventory really tell a story, so let's take a look at that. In the detached market, we have 3.9 months of inventory at the end of February. Now in semis and townhouses, we have about 1.8, 1.9 each. And in the condo market in Mississauga, we have 1.3 months of inventory. So what that's telling us is we really got two stories developing here. One in the detached market and one in the rest. The detached market has definitely crept up into balanced market territory where we have about the right number of buyers and sellers to sustain stable pricing. Now some of the higher end stuff, I think you'll see some downward pressure. The other markets, they're still in slight seller market conditions and the condos, they're still the hottest market in Mississauga where we're still seeing multiple offers on many condo units. And I think that has a lot to do with there's not a ton of supply and the demand is high because they are the most affordable kind of unit available. I prepared another chart to show you what happened over the last year to get us to where we are now, what's going on right now, and what we think is gonna happen over the next few months. Let's take a look at that now. In the early part of last year, we clearly had a boom with prices shooting up, which was followed by a steep bust after the middle of April when the new rules came out. Through the summer and into the fall, we experienced a consolidation, and now we have stability. We've been trading within a fairly narrow band for the last four or five months. All right, that's all for today. If you like this video, make sure to let me know in the comments, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified each time I drop a video just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.